So in the last video we were discussing about pushdown automata and we discussed about what is a deterministic pushdown automata and I told you that I'm going to give you an example of a non-deterministic pushdown automata, non-determinism. Non-determinism means that you will be in some kind of confusion whether for a given input you are going to go a single state or you may go to multiple states that, that creates a confusion. For example, let us say we have a language like this. The language is w w r such that w belongs to a plus comma b plus that means w can be any combination of a's and b's and the string is w w r w w r means this w r denotes the reverse of this w for example if you have the string w is equal to a b then w r becomes b a therefore w w r string becomes a b b a if you have w is equal to a b b b right then w r becomes b b b a and w w r becomes a b b b b b b a okay so it is a reverse of this it is kind of a palindrome in the same way if we have w is equal to a b a and w r will also be a b a then w w r will become a b a a b a okay this is w and w r so here this is on a comma b so the language is on a comma b and it is w w r that means if you have a string and you take that reverse of that string you concatenate them so it gives you the string of that language any string which is present in that language and you cannot have epsilon in this case now the problem is if you are going to first of all identify can you design a finite automata for this right no you cannot design why you cannot design a finite automata because there is a comparison between the strings if this is w and this is w r they should be compared right they should be equal there is a comparison and the length of the string can be infinite the language is infinite therefore for this particular language you cannot draw a finite automata but can you draw a pushdown automata? We have already seen in the previous case, we have already seen an example like this. If you have the string which is w c w r such that w belongs to a plus b whole plus. We have already seen this where w is the string and w r is the reverse and c is the middle point. But here in this case, this c is already showing that this is the middle point for any given string. For any given string, if you read the string and we reach to C, then we can be sure that after this C, we are going to get a reverse of that string. We already done this, right? And this C is acting as a you know, marker to show that now, up to kitna string ho chuka hai, now we are going to reverse this particular string. Okay. Now here in this case, we don't have a marker like this. We don't have any marker which is C, which is noting that the uh, reverse of the string is already is now coming. We don't have anything like this. Now then how can you identify whether the reverse of the string is already started? You cannot measure the length because there is nothing called as counting is in case of finite automata. You cannot count in numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. You cannot count in that manner. There is always there is a pattern. right? So can you identify any pattern uh, which is saying that this is W and this is WR. Maybe the reverse of the strings are already started. So if you see the first string, in the middle we are getting two b's. In the second string, in the middle we are getting two b's. In the third string, in the middle we are getting two a's. So maybe, maybe whenever we get consecutive b, maybe whenever we get consecutive a, we may think that the middle point has already started, but that is not true in all the cases. For example, here in this case, because there's a middle point which is BB and there's no consecutive, anything is not consecutive, therefore we can be sure here that the middle point is already reached. But here, if you see this, these are two consecutive Bs, these are two consecutive Bs, maybe this may be a middle point, this may be a middle point that we will check after testing. Here also, there is no uh, consecutive B's or there is no consecutive A's, but there is only one consecutive A's which is denoting that is, it is the middle of the language. 
right so whenever we get w and wr in case of w and wr the middle point will always match and this middle point will be having the same symbol two times so whenever we are going to draw a push down automata we have to identify this middle point but the problem is there can be a lot of middle points like this you cannot draw a deterministic push down automata for this language for this given language you have to draw a non deterministic push down automata and that non deterministic push down automata will give you whether uh, this language that any particular string is present in this language or not let me show you a simple example how you can do it you are going to make two transitions for one sense uh, for the same symbol this is the initial state a initial state a the length of the string should be at least two why because w can be of length at least one so wr will also be of length at least one so it should be at least two in total right so initially you can get a, a then this is a stack stack will be containing z naught if in the string first symbol is a and stack is containing z naught then you put this a z this a inside the stack or initially if you get a b stack is containing z naught then you put this b inside the stack we have already done this then we reach at the state p now if there is alternative symbols for example after a you get b after b you get a after a you get b after b you get a that means uh, num these numbers are not repeating if they are not repeating then there is no problem but if the symbols are repeating then there is a problem then there is a problem right for example here if you get a one more a then maybe we can assume that the middle point has already reached maybe we can assume the middle point has already reached right so we get a z naught and this is uh, you can uh, okay fine so what let me let me drive out the strategy before doing anything else before writing any any of these things because uh, there is a better way see everyone mis makes mistakes right so let let me uh, draw a strategy for this as you we have the string a b b a after reading the first symbol we don't have any problem because this is only one symbol after the reading the second symbol the second symbol is b now if this symbol is matching with the first symbol we may assume that middle point has not reached but if this symbol is not matching agar ye symbol match nahi hota then maybe middle point is uh, not there we can look for the next symbol again if we get one more b we may think that this is a middle point or we may think that this may not be the middle point or this may not be the start of the next string so we have to assume both the cases right for the for, for example for the first case i have assumed the string is starting with a therefore i'm going to put this a inside the stack i'm going to put this a inside the stack or i can also draw a smaller version of this let me do it again i can draw a smaller version okay right so if if it is a stack is containing z not then you are going to put that inside the stack if you get a b stack is containing z not then you can put this b inside the stack you can put this b inside the stack if we get a, a stack is containing b then we can put this inside the stack if you get a b stack is containing a then we can put this inside the stack now if you get same symbols if you get the same symbols then we can take another choice then we can move on uh, we can move and we can take different choices for that i'll show i'll show you what i am i'm planning to do here don't worry let me let me uh, draw this diagram first and then i'll show you what i am planning okay for example next symbol if the next symbol is a stack is containing a then we can put that inside the stack again if the next symbol is a stack is containing a then we'll assume that middle point has reached and if the middle point has reached then we have to pop it after that we have to pop everything now if it is b stack is containing b first of all we'll assume there is no middle point and we'll also assume if it is matching that there is a middle point 
after getting a middle point the symbols will always be matching so whenever you get a b you have to pop it whenever you get a a you have to pop it and if you get a epsilon symbol after this stack is containing z not leave it at z not and you have to accept the string you have to accept the string so in this case why i am saying there is a determinism because for this single symbol a a i made two transition there is a transition for this a from straight a and there is a transition here also there are two different transitions for the same symbol so if there are two different transitions for the same symbol then it creates a determinism in this uh, uh, push down automata so therefore it is a non deterministic push down automata it, it creates non determinism and how does this push out automata actually works and what i have what i have done here let me explain this with the help of some a few examples let us take the first example this one the first example is a b b a it is a b b a now in this a b b a this is a stack which is z not we are checking the first symbol a stack is containing z not this is the first symbol a stack is containing z not so we are going to put this symbol a onto the stack and then we we'll check the second symbol after checking the second symbol b we are checking the stack is containing a the second symbol is b stack is containing a therefore we are going to push this b onto the stack after checking the third symbol b stack is also containing b now there are two transitions this is the one trans first transition this is the second transition there are two transitions stack is containing b and the symbol is also b so here we are assuming that middle point has not reached because because here also because of this case we assuming we are assuming that middle point has not reached and here we are assuming that middle point has already reached so if the middle point has not reached in this case this is b b b b then this push down automata is going to make two copies of itself two copies the first copy will assume that middle point has not reached and the second copy will assume that middle point has already reached so let us make two copies of this stack now this is z not this is a and this is b so after checking this b if we are going to make this transition which assuming that middle point has not reached so we are going to put this b onto the stack after checking this b this is going to assume that middle point has already reached so it is going to pop this b after out of the stack now the next symbol is a if the next symbol is a stack is containing b if the next symbol is a stack is containing b then we are going to push it in this case and here if the next symbol is a stack is containing a we are going to pop it so it will be popped after that the string is already ended so there is a epsilon symbol now there is no transition for epsilon symbol here there is no transition there is no transition which is saying that we are going to get an epsilon so in this case in this case this will be dead this will be dead and the one who identified that this is a correct middle point will now go to the final state therefore here the string will be accepted here the string will be accepted let me show it to you with this one more example assume the string is a a a a we have four a's this is the first a second a third a and fourth a so maybe there is a middle point here maybe there is a middle point here and maybe there is a middle point here we don't know for sure at what location we have the middle point okay so let us check what what will happen here initially we start with the state a and we get a a a a and the stack will be containing z not stack will be containing z not now if we are going to read the first symbol so we are going to put this first a onto the stack so it is stack will be containing a z not and will remain at state a that means on state a if we check the symbol a then we will be remaining at straight a and we are going to put this a onto the stack now the second symbol is also a we are at straight a 
and stack is containing top of the stack is containing a if we are at state a the top of stack is containing a and the symbol which we are reading is a then we will go to the state a and we'll push it or we'll go to the state b and we'll pop it so the stack is going to make two copies of itself one copy will assume that we are going to push it so if you are going to push it therefore it will become a the string is a and the stack will be having double a z not the second will assume that we'll pop it so if you will pop it so it will be a a a and stack will assume z not here it assumed yes there is a middle point yes it was a middle point and here is assumed no it was not a middle point no it was not a middle point now here the top of stack is containing a we are at state a and we are reading the symbol a again there are two choices again there are two choices that means it is saying that here in this case it is saying that stack is containing z not a and a and the symbol we are reading is a so if the symbol we are reading is a stack is containing a then we can push it or we can also pop it one will assume yes there is a middle point second will assume no there is no middle point so the one who is assuming no middle point then it will be pushing this a so it is a stack will be contain triple a z not and the one which assumes yes there is a middle point so it is a and we are going to pop it so next symbol is a and stack is contain a z not and here in this case which has assumed in the previous case that it was a middle point now now this will be sorry this will be in state b i made a mistake here and uh, the one yes this will be in state b i made a mistake here okay now in this case if you are at state b stack is containing z not and the symbol is a if you are at state b stack is containing z not and we are seeing a symbol a now this will go to a dead state why because in state of in b we have not made a transition that stack is containing z not and the next symbol is a therefore this will be dead now the, these one again the symbol is matching so one will assume yes there is a middle point second will assume uh, one will assume yes there is a middle point second will assume no middle point the one which is assuming no middle point will be making a transition which is a epsilon 4 times a z not and second which assuming that there is a middle point so it will be making it a epsilon double a z not and further these two will be dead because this will be b these two will be dead because there is no transition given for these symbols you can check it from the diagram and this is going to one this is the one which assumed that there is a correct middle point is going to uh, you know we are going to remain at state b uh, which assume that yes there is a middle point we are going to remain at state b we are going to remain at state b and in state b in state b if we are uh, reading the symbol a so it is epsilon comma z not and this will now be accepted this will now be accepted this will be accepted okay so the one which assumed that the uh, assumed the middle point correctly will now be, now be accepted now in this case you can see whenever we see a non-deterministic push down automata or whenever we see a non-deterministic uh, finite automata if for any given input we are going to multiple states and if any one of these multiple states is a final state then we see that input is accepted and here we are going to multiple states after reading the complete string if any one of them will is, is a final state therefore we can say the string is accepted and here it is going to the final state therefore the string is accepted so this in this string it, it is pr uh, present in the language and you can clearly see in the case of aa this is w and this is wr therefore the string is present in that language and it is showing non-determinism there are so many examples of non-determinism where you take multiple uh, moves from the same symbol okay so the language okay we'll discuss that no worries anyways i hope this this example is clear too let me take one more example of a non-deterministic push down automata okay